Hello everyone, Scott here with some news of the headlines over the last few days about the absolute abomination that is the licensing of the short-term rental sector in Scotland. Now I use the word abomination because I saw it recently uh, and looked up the definition and it was something that generates loathing and disgust and hatred and that's definitely applicable here. Every single person involved in this, in the industry are saying no, don't do this government, it's a mistake, it's going to be a disaster. The government are going ahead, uh, taking politics aside, it uh, doesn't matter. But doing this is going to be disastrous. And this is what these headlines are about over the last few days. So SNP government warned it's going to be disastrous for the economy. So all the leading organisations, the Association of Stocks Health Caterers, Short Term Accommodations Association, all saying this is going to be bad, don't do it, or at least be reasonable in this. Now, this is the legislation and regulation of short-term lettings, where they're going to need a license, and people in local authorities, somebody behind a desk that knows nothing about this is going to have the power to lose people's jobs, shut businesses, take people's income away, and again, I think that's going to be disastrous personally. But these people are saying that. Let's go on to new headlines. Airbnb warn that jobs will be cut. So they are saying a million pounds a day is going to be lost if they regulate this. And there's 17,000 jobs going to be lost. So I would say that's probably accurate. Uh, Airbnb obviously have an agenda. They, they're not going to want this. It would lose their money. But uh, another figure I've seen here is 66, £677 million pounds come through Airbnb type bookings. Now, not everyone's going to use Airbnb. Uh, so when they bring this in, it's definitely going to be over a billion pounds. Uh, this could be lost. So a billion pounds to the Scottish economy uh, is a lot of money and a million pounds a day. So that's lots. So Airbnb, another headline here, was bewildered by licensing scheme. Again, that's 100% correct. No one in the industry wants this. And of course, no one wants to volunteer for regulation uh, and licensing. Everyone in the industry, by the way, is quite happy with some form of standard, minimum standards been set, and no one's arguing that. No one says we shouldn't have that, but it needs to be proportionate. It needs to not lose people jobs. And I think there's another headline here. Rural pubs could shut as vacation prices soar. So in any government interference where they're saying we're going to regulate this for the for the people, for the people, it's going to push prices up. So um, th there is no there is no doubt in anyone's mind, apart from the governments, that this will lose jobs, that this is going to probably put um, prices up because the same amount of people are going to want, but there's going to be probably half the amount of properties there, it's going to push demand up, uh, supply and demand factors, it's going to increase prices. So we're doing this to protect to protect people, uh, but it's going to raise prices, it's going to lose people jobs, pubs are going to shut, there's going to be people losing their livelihoods, 17,000 17, people losing their jobs here for a political statement of we are going to regulate a market. It's going to be worse for absolutely everybody. These are my thoughts. I would love to hear your thoughts. The purpose or one of the main reasons for this legislation coming in is to protect first time buyers and housing prices. Um, if you genuinely believe, if you think regulating the holiday home industry is going to solve the housing crisis, then pop your details in below. Let's get an online chat. Let's hear your side of the story because I genuinely it's impossible for that to happen. It's unrealistic. And I think it's just a political statement to say, well, the housing crisis isn't our fault. It's those pesky holiday homeowners. And that is my genuine opinion, but I would love to hear other opinions. But the industry, the short-term rental industry, is generally united as a whole that this is going to be bad for the industry. It's going to be bad for the end consumer. And what's, what's tried to be pushed through isn't going to be good in any form. But that's regulation. That's the way governments work. And they don't seem to be listening to everyone that's campaigning to say, please don't do this. Jobs will be lost. The economy will be hurt. And people will lose their livelihood.